The only good part about this episode were the last 10 minutes. This episode in particular, maybe some people liked it, but for me, maybe you, it was kind of like a stinker. Belle and Rumple. I personally think that if my ex-husband was in a coma for all these years and was just being tortured by the Dark One and then tortured by Merida, and he finally, and you find him in this elevator crying, begging him to not hurt you, you'd at least be a little more comforting. Like, oh my god, Rumple, are you okay? Like, give him a hug. But Belle didn't seem really into Rumple. She's like keeping her distance, I guess, right? Yeah, and she was like, he's not my sweetheart. But Belle's like, mm, about Rumple. That's what I got from that, today's episode. The opening scene where they're all beating people up in a hallway. That was pretty cool. It's super hot. What did they call them? What was the name that... Oh, someone called them Merlin's Angels. <laughs> but yeah, that part was cool. Yeah. Uh, even though Merlin could have done all that by himself. Hook and charming. They were just like... Yeah, like superheroes. Zelina and Emma's scene. I loved. I love how um, the dark. I love how Dark Swan bribed Zelina with onion rings. Yeah. And Emma loves onion rings. I just think that the idea of Zelina and Emma being together in any kind of scene is cool because Zelina's like. Like, there's a designated dark one, so that's Emma. But Zelina's like always a bad guy. She's like always like the evil one. So like to have someone like that, but who also has like self-control, but then someone like Emma who's a dark one but has no self-control. Yeah, like... and it was kind of just like, like Zelina showed Emma who the bad one was in that scene. Yeah. Okay, like you think you're bad? Like honey, relax. Like you're new like, with this? You're new with this. I'm like, I'm the villain here. Yeah, sure. Maybe you're a little bit stronger, but you don't really know what you're doing with all that power. She's like, I don't need you. Like just cause you're the dark one. Like, yeah. I don't need you because I'm I'm my own villain. I'll figure this out. Like, I I don't know. Props to Zelina. She was reading What to Expect When You're Expecting. Yeah, I love funny. how Storybook has Storybook has real bookstores. And well, they, they can got add it with someone like Belle living there. Can you imagine every time Belle goes to the library and she leaves, like they sing that song they sing and they're making a beauty and a beast. Bonjour, bonjour. And they all yeah. start talking about Belle. <laughs> yeah. Belle's okay guys. Every day, every day I leave the library. Dun 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 do you want to talk about the scene with the bear and Merida and uh, Belle and Rumpel? I don't really have anything to say about the bear. She turned into a bear, like... Don't run, <laughs> Rumpel. Okay. <laughs> Rumpel's like, I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> no, she said run, Rumpel. Oh, right. She's like, Rumpel, run! Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Emma and Rumpel, the last scene together, was badass. It's like, oh, he's like, if there's one thing you forgot, it's that you made me a hero. She's like, there are tons of heroes in this town, and none of them have stopped me. He's like, that's because none of them are me. None of them are me. Walked off with this cane. <laughs> I don't know, it was, that was really cool. And because it's like, Rumpel's the original Dark One, so he knows what she's thinking. Rumpel to be like, the good guy, like the hero. But that's also cool. knowing how the yeah. dark magic works. I hope he starts wearing like something different. Starts like dressing all cool and stuff, because he's the savior. I want Rumpel to like, kill him, eh? No, I'm just kidding. I don't want him to do that. <laughs> yeah, and there will be no Captain Swan. Be just I just Captain. want Rumpel to be like, save the day. Very happy Rumpel's back and he's a hero and he's all confident. He's like, yeah. I hope he fixes his leg. Well, he's a hero. He isn't, he doesn't need. Yeah, I know, but still. Hopefully, just find some, like, Belle finds some spell in the book and, like, oh, leg fixer. With the mushroom and then how they had no way to talk to Merlin, but then Regina was like, there's one person that Merlin chose, the author, slow pan to like Henry walking out. Yeah man, they, he was waiting, he was just sitting back, he's like, they're gonna need me someday, I am the author, I'm just waiting for their call. They're like, oh, need the author, here I am. <laughs> Nimeray, Nimeroy, Nimeway? Who the F is Nimeway? Mm. When it started panning into Hook, I honestly thought Hook was gonna like be silent and like, oh crap, he's like Nimeway was his real name or something like that. or. My other theory, unless Nimue is some sort of character that I'm not aware of, but maybe Nimue is Hook's dad. I think that's the most likely scenario. Since? Because it, it went to Hook. It went to Hook, but then at the same time, if Hook knew who Nimue was, I feel like he would have like more of a silent reaction. Didn't he have a silent reaction? He did, but then he was like, what did, what did Emma do to him? Because remember, like, Marlon looked behind him? Yeah, I mean, if this, if this was realistic though, he'd be like, wait, that's my dad! Yeah, <laughs> realistically! He would just be like... Mm. 
unless he doesn't know who his dad is. That's all I have to say about this episode. I mean, it's like, I'm not gonna try to. There isn't really much else to say. It is what yeah. it is. Uh, did anyone else think Merida's brother seemed like robots? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like they just, they just seemed emotionless. <laughs> you didn't see their face once. As soon as the blindfolds were off, they were like. <laughs> and they just like go and like run to her and like huddle. It looked like a bunch of like crew members came off set. They just threw some red wigs on them. And like, okay, you're gonna be their brothers right now. It's kind of saving on costs. Well, All right, uh, well, see you next week. See you next week.